It's graduation day for this class of Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies after a grueling five months of training. I'm excited really about where this journey is going to take me. This group of 18 were hand selected for paid reassignment. The first time the sheriff's office has sponsored a class of corrections officers at a police academy. Who knows when I would have been able to do this on my own. <laughs> We were there as Mariah Colbert trained at Great Oaks Police Academy. Mariah Colbert. Today, she graduated and was recognized for excelling in physical fitness. Her motivation, helping those in mental health crises and being a role model for her almost five-year-old son. He's strong, he's courageous, you know, not don't fear the police, you know. There are amazing officers out here that want to help. This partnership is the sheriff's office's answer to a nationwide recruitment crisis. They know what they're stepping into and they're doing it anyway. WLWT surveyed more than 40 Hamilton County Police Departments and found more than 65 percent expect hiring and retention to be its biggest challenge this year. Police departments have not been able to recover from one challenge to the next. Sarah Shendy is a full-time officer and the director of Ohio's newly formed Office of Law Enforcement Recruitment. We have been working with police departments to make sure that they are using um, the most innovative ways when it comes to recruitment. Some of the solutions she's pushing for, better recruitment tools, reasonable timing between when officers apply and when they start working, a condensed academy for federal law enforcement who want to transition to local policing, and opportunities for scholarships for police academies. Hamilton County Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey is designating more than $100,000 per class of 20 to get their certification. It's beyond worth the investment. We are getting back what we put in tenfold. In effort, she says, will pay off for this group. I just want him to know, you know, who his mom is, and I want him to be proud. And, and for the community. Mm, love you. <laughs> And now that they're certified, the graduates can continue working in the jail or go to court services. They can also go out, out on the road and later pursue specialized assignments like the SWAT team. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.